you're okay with me these days. I got a good job. Hey, Billy, you just gonna switch it up like that, my boy. So far, Zach from Rage Against the Machine has had the most hard hitting and aggressive lyrics that I've heard so far. Not just aggressive, like, you know, it, it brought a lot of emotions out of me. That's like the, the most direct and dope lyrics I've heard so far. I would say the most unique and like uh, interesting, like just make you think, like, what in the world are you talking about? Type of lyrics that I've heard so far comes from uh, Kurt Cobain. But the most talented lyricist that I've heard so far, easily, bar none, is from the person that this video is about, and that is Billy Joel. As soon as I heard his pen for the first time on a uh, piano, man, I was entirely blown away. Immediately, everybody told me that I need to check out scenes from an Italian restaurant, and that is what we're about to do today. Let's get into it. Scenes from an Italian restaurant. The great Billy Joel. Got the lyrics pulled up. A bottle of white, a bottle of red, perhaps a bottle of rose instead. We get a table near the street in our old familiar place. You and I face to face. A bottle of red, a bottle of white. It all depends upon your appetite. I'll meet you anytime you want in our Italian restaurant. <laughs> He's so fire, bro. Does does uh, Billy Joel play all his instruments or no? <laughs> hey Billy, you just gonna switch it up like that, my boy? You just gonna switch it up like that, Billy? I was prepared to stay in that pocket. I was cool with that. I liked it. That was fire. But I like this switch up a lot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we break down the songs here and do it. It's a reaction, so we we gotta pause and whatnot. Okay, you can just go listen to the song if you wanna just hear it straight through. Wife got a new life and the family is fine. Oh, lost touch long ago. I'm telling y'all, bro. I know y'all told me he also has the same a song uh, called New York State of Mind as well, just like Nas does. But I can't express to you, if you do not listen to hip hop, check out maybe uh, New York State of Mind by Nas. Or there's, there's so many. I gave you power. There's so many songs. But the storytelling is just like this storyteller reminds me of that, man. And, and I know this album is called The Stranger. That's why I wanted to listen to this on Patreon as a whole album. Because I want to know what like, type of stuff he talks about. He seems like he always talks. He always gives stories. Well, I can't say that. I only heard two songs. But it's, he seems like a, a strong... I mean, he's amazing. Probably one of the best storytellers of all time. One of the best I ever heard. Top for first place, probably. Um, but these stories... I wonder, is this... If this is about his life, that's extremely impressive. Like, if Steve's an Italian restaurant, if this is really about his life, that's phenomenal. If this is not about his life... And he just making it up and making it like he's speaking from the perspective of somebody else. And he's making up a whole story. That is unbelievable. 
and he could have easily been an author instead of either way he could have been an author instead of a musician but if these stories are not pulling from himself that's wild those those nights i mean those days hanging out at the village the green that's so specific but engineer boots leather jackets and tight blue jeans you could picture all of it you picture in the sign that says like the village green um you picture in the outfit and everything drop a dime in the box play a song about new orleans cold beer hot lights my sweet romantic teenage nights and then his voice is just wonderful the instruments are beautiful if he does have a band they're fire too and they switched up again Piano nasty. Piano man, piano man. I'm sure that's Billy Joe. Brenda Renetti were the popular steadies and the king and the queen of the farm. Riding around with the car top down and the radio on. Nobody looked any finer always more of a hit at the parkway diner we never knew we could want more than that out of life sure the bender and eddie would always know how to survive it's hard bro it's like he just it's like he has like a um a time machine and he's like the accuracy um i can't speak to how accurate it is but at least it seems accurate and so descriptive it's as if the dude is like taking a time machine throughout his through his life like back to his teenage years and literally looking at the scene of what happened to clarify just how if this is from his own life to like to explain how wild and ex amazing this talent is, you got to think, bro. When I think about my own life right now, like the the stuff in the past, it's not all quite as. I mean, some of it is, you know what I mean, but like not everything is as detailed as what he is doing right here, bro. Like, and I also like how he is. This is the third switch up on a song as far as it being sonically pleasing. Sometimes people who have phenomenal lyricism, their drawback is that their music is just not pleasing sonically but if you want to just bop along to his stuff it's also phenomenal in that way too man he's one of the greatest that i've heard so far bro easily ah you know what i'm i'm i think i'm gonna say i think i like billy joel just as much as rage bro i do they're different i was listening to killing the name in the car today i let my girl hear it i don't think she had heard it before when we were on our way to the gym um so, so you know, these trying white music so series songs, some of them have been implemented into my day to day life. Um, but yeah, man, this Billy Joe, he's gonna be one of those guys for me. He's he just as good as Rage. Ooh, well, they got an apartment with deep park compass and a couple of paintings from Sears. A big water bed that they bought with the bread they saved for a couple of years. They started to fight when the money got tight, and they just didn't count on the tears. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's going to be a long video, y'all. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the descriptive stuff. So, uh, even that, like, okay, so, you know, let's talk about Brenda, Brenda and Eddie, you know, from back in the prom king, prom queen. They stayed together. They ended up getting married because it was crazy. And eventually, they got an apartment and everything, water bed and all that. And then, which also is a sign of the times, they had a water bed and then they broke up, right? Um, but he told their whole relationship story. How can I put it? It didn't. Of course, he, it's a song. So he only did it in like two verses, two or three verses. I think it was two verses. But I like to point out how different like somebody having to put out, a, make a story like that versus having to make a story 
in a movie, you need to make it longer, or you need to make it like a two hour and stretch the story in two hours, or if, or if you're doing a whole Netflix series, for example, now you need to make the story go it's a crazy amount of hours, ten seasons or something like that, right? Um, so it's really cool. On one hand, you might think it's easier when it's a shorter story, but no, it could be way harder because you need to try to put enough in there for us to completely follow beginning, middle, and end and evoke some type of emotion from it. And of course, Brenda and Eddie is any amount of relationships. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be just them. You don't got to know Brenda and Eddie. We all know Brenda and Eddie. Or maybe we are Brenda and Eddie. Right. hella soulful too bro like his actual voice and the and the instruments like the whole vibe of his the whole vibe of his music i even like how i feel like he kind of like broke not kind of i feel like he broke the fourth wall which is cool in itself like he took he went out of the song and the story and was like and i'll tell you more but i told you already and i like how he said i would he's like he that's all he heard about brendan and ellie brendan and eddie and i what'd he say like I would tell you more, but I told you already. I told you already, us, the listener, you know? Like, I think that's a cool break in the fourth wall moment. It just works. And again, it makes you makes it feel like, it feels like you just, I don't know if it's because Piano Man's the first song I heard, and the way he explained it is that he's in a bar telling this dope, like, tell, I mean, telling a story about all these different people there. But it feels like that when I listen to this song. Maybe that's just a perspective, the lens I'm looking at his music through now. But at least this song, it feels like I'm just right there, and he's right there on stage or something like that. And he's just telling me this story. This is really, really cool. Bottle of red. Billy Joel, I think I went this whole video without swearing for the first time ever, possibly. Motherfucker, it, it's hard, bro. You are a bad mother. I'm not going to finish it because I'm going to keep the streak alive. Okay, okay. Am I tripping or is Billy Joel at the beginning talking to a girl of his, like a, a, a girl that he dated in his teenage years? And then Brendan and Eddie are the popular steadies. 
So they always used to come there too. They were like the popular couple that always came there too. And he's just meeting up with like his old teenage girlfriend back at the Village Green, which is is that the name of the Italian restaurant, by the way, that they used to hang out with at? Um, but so they're 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 there at the Village Green and they're meeting back up later on in life. She's lost weight, she looks even better than she used to. And they're talking about how life's been, and they just get to reminiscing. And that this couple is just one of the people that they are reminiscing about. Like, and maybe, uh, and he's telling her everything that he's heard. Or, you know what I mean? Is that what's going on? I don't know. That's just fire, though, man. I absolutely love the storytelling, and it sounds great, man. It, like, I wonder if. I don't know much about jazz, but some of this, uh, the instruments, I don't know if that's a saxophone I'm hearing, sounds like it might be jazzy a little bit, soulful. I don't know exactly what genre Billy Joe's falls under, but it definitely does not seem like rock and roll to me. And I said it in a positive way. Not that rock and roll is bad, but this is not rock and roll to me, at least for what, I, what pops into my head. This is something completely different, and I absolutely love it. Soulful as hell. Billy Joe, I know some people think it's overdone at this point. But I'm sorry, you deserve it. You are invited eternally to the cookout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out the patreon.com slash TV if you guys want to support. If you do the Hall of Fame tier, whatever song you recommend, then I'm going to do a video for it. New videos on Patreon every two days. New videos on YouTube every two days. Till next time, I've been your boy Big Hollywood, Rob TV, and I'm gone.